Hey guys, this is Jack and welcome to my brand new series, How to Fly FPV Quadcopters. Now in this series, I'll be breaking down the theory behind flying a quad, along with some tips, tricks and guidelines to help you become a better FPV quadcopter pilot. I'm also super excited to announce that I have partnered with Luga Studios, the developers of the Liftoff FPV Simulator, to bring you these videos. A shortened version of these videos will be available in-game within one of the next updates, along with the tracks I will be using to practice all these maneuvers. We'll start off with the basic lessons, such as hovering and moving forward, and then end off with advanced tricks such as proxy flips and side slipping. Now in this video, I'll be going over three main points which you need to understand and a few things you should have in place before you start with these lessons, especially if you are completely new to the world of FPV quads. But first, a little more about myself so that you'll know who will be presenting these lessons. Now, I fell in love with FPV quadcopters in early December 2015, the day I saw the video from Schizo FPV's run at the F3 Expo. Since then, I've never looked back and dived into this amazing hobby headfirst. Now, I haven't been flying FPV quads for a very long time myself. In fact, at the time of making this video, I've only been flying a real life quad for almost two weeks. I have however spent more than 100 hours on the liftoff FPV simulator and this has given me the necessary stick time to fly a real life quadcopter without any issues the first time I started up an actual quad. If you want to see my first real FPV flight then feel free to click on this video and check it out. The video will open in a new tab for you to watch. Now you may be thinking, hey Jack, um, you don't really have a lot of experience and you're not a pro like Schizo or Matty Stunt or all the other guys. So why should I listen to you and who says that you're giving us the right information? Now that's a great question. I may not be the greatest FPV pilot out there and to be honest I'm still learning every day myself. However what I can say is that all these videos I will be making has been tediously researched and I got input from as many FPV pilots as possible. If you do find any inaccuracies in these videos then I am extremely sorry. Please don't hesitate to reach out and I will update it with an annotation giving the correct information. Also, my background includes running a gaming YouTube channel with 20,000 subscribers, and I want to use my analytical skills which I have developed over the past year making gaming videos and apply that to these how to fly FPV lessons. I really enjoy breaking down even the smallest maneuver and going into the how and why behind it. So most of the videos will be broken down into three sections. First being the theory and science behind the maneuver, the second being the actual real life maneuver along with how to do it, and then finally, how you can practice this on the liftoff simulator before going at it with your real quad. Now let's get straight into your first lesson. Guidelines and tips before you start flying, mostly focused on beginners. Firstly, let's go over a few guidelines and tips. The biggest tip I can give anyone wanting to learn how to fly FPV is learn how to fly on the liftoff simulator. The simulator will teach you all the basic necessary skills to fly your first quad, hopefully without crashing it. If I had to start flying with a real quad and skip the simulator, I don't even want to start imagining how much money and time I would have spent on replacing parts. Trust me, get the simulator, fly on there as much as you can, and follow the series of lessons to improve your skills before going at it in real life. The next tip is to watch as many FPV videos as you can, preferably videos by professionals flying. The reason I am saying this is that it shows you the actual capabilities of your quad so that when you fly, you realize that you're not even close to the envelope of where you can push your quad. Also, for me personally, I fly along with them in my head. I visualize their stick inputs and actually grab my Tyrannus radio and fly with them. This will actually increase your skill and understanding of some maneuvers. Now the next tip, benchmark yourself with the best. This tip comes with a warning too though. Do not get disheartened and lose interest in the hobby just because you can't fly like them just yet. Remember, the more you practice, the better you will get. But when you strive to be as good as the best, you will most likely progress faster. At the same time, you will crash more. Which brings me to the next tip. Do not be afraid to crash unless you're flying a plastic frame or a very cheap quad. This actually goes hand in hand with the next section in this video where I'll be going over your setup. When learning how to fly, you should have a frame that is bomb proof so you can dust off your quad after a crash and fly further. When you cancel out the worries of crashing, you'll learn a lot faster. The final tip I can give you is to practice one stunt or maneuver at a time. Yes, you will learn how to fly just by messing around and you will eventually get better at it. But with experience, I can confidently say that you will progress a lot faster when you only practice one move at a time. You will quickly notice what you're doing wrong and fix that mistake. Now moving on to the second section, 
we'll be going over the setup which I would definitely recommend you start out with if you are a complete beginner. If you have some FPV experience and are already in the air, you might want to skip forward to section 3. Firstly and most importantly, you want a quad that is near bomb proof but doesn't set you back an incredible amount. So I've set up the perfect beginner quad along with my sponsor Lift RC, which will be perfect for you to start out on. There is also an advanced option with only the best goggles, radio and parts if you're not on a tight budget. These links are in the description below so make sure you check these out if you still need to get a quad. Basically you want a frame that won't break when you crash. The frame that I'm flying with is the Lift RC freestyle frame and it is extremely tough. I've crashed this thing into trees, rocks and dropped it from about 40 meters high without breaking a single thing. A strong frame will also keep your components safe so the chances that you need to repair something is a lot less. Then if you are new to FPV, you definitely want to start with a 3 cell battery. A 4 cell battery will have a bit too much power for a beginner but you will upgrade to a 4 cell battery quite soon so don't get too many 3 cell ones. As for the components, unless you know exactly what you want to do with a quad such as racing, filming and freestyle or just cruising, you would want to get basic, not so expensive components which you can learn on. Once you get to the more advanced lessons, you can start upgrading to more advanced components. As for the props, I would only recommend the Dell 5030 props for a total beginner. If you can't find any 5030s, then bump it up to 5040. Up to date, I have not broken a single Dell prop and I have had some very hectic crashes. The Dell props will mostly bend and sometimes get big dents in them, but none have actually snapped or broken, which I find truly amazing. Finally, you want your FPV camera angle to have around 5 to 10 degrees of tilt. A low amount of tilt forces you to fly slowly and will definitely help as a beginner. Later on, you will most likely bump this up to about 25 to 30 degrees, but 5 to 10 is perfect to start out on. Moving on to the final section, we'll be going over a few guidelines for the location you will be flying at. Firstly, you want a big open space to practice your flying. Later on, you will be flying in smaller locations, but when you start out, you definitely want a big area. Next, you want to make sure that your location is obstacle free. If there's anything in the way which you could crash into, rather look for a different location. In the end, you want about a 50 by 50 meter open patch of clearness where you can practice your flying. Later on, you'll search for locations with tons of trees which you'll be flying over and around, but for now, let's start with an open space so you don't have to call the fiber grade to get your quad out of the tree. Finally, and most importantly, make sure that the location you've chosen to fly at abides by the FAA or your local laws and regulations. We are all equally responsible for the safety of others and the future of this amazing hobby. Please don't do stupid things with your quad that breaks your local law and just use your common sense. Everybody makes mistakes now and again, and when I started out too, I also made mistakes. But please see these mistakes, acknowledge them, learn from it, and make sure that you don't do it again. The entire FPV community will all be extremely thankful for that. And that about covers it for this video. Definitely check out those links in the description below, get yourself a Liftoff C quad, download the Liftoff FPV simulator, and then you're good to go. I really hope you enjoy and learn from this video series and if you do then remember to subscribe. Also please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions, comments or queries. I will be very active on my YouTube channel replying to comments as well as Twitter and Instagram. So check those out too if you have some time, the links are in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video. This is Jack, signing off.